Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jake here. You're watching Dude Ranch DIY. I am currently fueling up the Cormiti mini skid steer. Um, I just got done bringing the tractor with the ballast box and everything attachments, wicked grapple, down to the wood yard. And today we're going to do a little side by side comparison between the two machines and the two grapples. Um, in the last video, if you guys remember, I, uh, I got a delivery of some really nice ash firewood poles. The only problem is they're right in the middle of the road that I built because that was the easiest access for the truck. So today the goal is that we're going to be moving those firewood poles to a more suitable location um, in preparation for the excavator that should, fingers crossed, be here next week. Um, I want them to be somewhere that's you know relatively easy to get to um, yet out of the way, that way it doesn't hinder any of the performance or product, you know, product, productivity of the excavator and the operator when he's here. So I've never really put the two machines um, side by side and like really compared doing the same type of job. So we're going to try that out today and see how the Erskine grapple and the everything attachments wicked grapple compare to each other as well as, you know, how the two machines um just do this job and the things that i like the pros of each machine and, and then the cons so it looks like yep i am full of diesel and we're gonna get right to it all right guys so for anyone that missed the last video or might be new to the channel here is the pile of logs that i referenced uh showing in the last video it is all ash and for the most part they're all pretty straight not too many really big crotches in them um, there's one crotch there and one here that looks pretty gnarly that we might have to cut out but other than that they're pretty nice clean straight long firewood poles um, and as you can see they're kind of right here kind of cut in a little new temporary road right here but um they're kind of right here where I've been driving in, because that's where the truck could get to. So, over here, I got, of course, the Cora Midi Mini Loader. This is the C1500, so this is the larger one, with the Erskine Industrial Grapple, they call it. And it looks like I got a nice, sizable rock stuck in there. So, bonus points for that. Then, over here, I have the Kubota L3901, with the LA525 loader on it, and the 55 inch everything attachments wicked root rake grapple, which I'm sure anybody that's been following my channel for a while is pretty familiar with. Um, both machines are great. Um, they each definitely have their you know niche, being that the tractor has a wide variety of implements, as you guys know, that I already own. And the Cormiti also has a ton of attachments that I can potentially spend money on in the future. Um, just to make it fair, on the back of the tractor, I have the ballast box purely, you know, for safety reasons. Um, always got to have that counterweight. The Cormiti has all of these counterweights bolted on either side, as you can see. And I'm really just going to be doing a comparison. I, I really don't know which one is going to be better suited for this job. I mean, they can obviously both lift a, a bunch of weight. Um, no problem. Both grapples have worked great for picking up logs and brush. The terrain here, if, it might be pretty hard to tell, but it's sloping up that way. As you can see, there's a hill over there. It is pretty rocky. We have this like piece of ledge rock right here and then it dips down. I just pulled out a rock from this hole as you can see. Um, so I don't really know if I'll be able to attack the pile going in perpendicular to the logs, which would obviously be ideal. Um, so I might actually have to kind of come in from the end and pinch the ends and pull them out one by one and then uh, reorient the machine to grab it, you know, more safely and just more securely. And I definitely think that the Cormiti, being as nimble as it is and being on tracks, would be better at that um, maneuvering 
aspect because the tractor is obviously much bigger. But enough chit chat. I'm going to hop on, hmm, decisions, decisions. I'll hop on the core midi first. I'll get the tractor out of the way and uh, we'll just start pinching some of these logs that are kind of falling off the pile and get them moved out of the way. machine this thing can definitely pick up some big logs um, the weight lift rating on this core midi c1500 is 1500 pounds um, granted this log is probably you know I don't know six seven hundred pounds so maybe about half that um, also don't quote me on that I don't know how much this log weighs but it's dead ash so it's not as heavy as like wet ash or wet oak for any matter but um, it's a pretty big log and the machine picks it up absolutely no problem. So far, first impressions, I've done two trips picking up small logs um, just to like get my bearings and kind of feel out the ground. Um, this machine is extremely nimble, obviously. It's on tracks. Much shorter footprint than the tractor. Um, it is, however, pretty rough, you know, because you are on tracks. 
you're kind of feeling every bump and the way that the operator station is laid out it just so happens that the radiator kind of screen uh, lines up perfectly with my kneecaps so every time I hit a bump my kneecaps are kind of in this little like bevel that the plastic is molded around and my knees kind of hit it and it's a little uncomfortable um, Cormidi could probably do a little bit better job with some padding or something I've seen some other uh, brands that have like little side kind of like bolsters to keep you kind of locked in the uh, operator platform kind of like a race car or like a boat or something like that so that's a con of it um, but not really pertaining to this job just in general um, so far it's been doing great So as you guys just saw, and as I kind of figured, the tractor could pick this log up. It got it up off the ground, but having this big, you know, knot and burl kind of thing in the middle of it, it that's basically where I need to pick it up. So it's not picking it up very effectively. So I'm gonna cut this into two logs and I'm probably just gonna cut this big gnarly knot out of it. I mean, that thing is, is grotesque. So we'll probably make a cut right here, cut right there. We'll have two shorter firewood logs, but in the long run, it'll probably save me time and some headaches trying to split that big thing. <laughs> majority of the pile moved as you can see just a few more logs to go I'd say probably like less than 10 um, both machines did a great job Sarah and Louie just came down here and Sarah was just commenting she was like wow you really have a road back here I haven't been down here I said we don't even need to go to the trail I could just walk them on our trail <laughs> Louie has been getting pretty big say hi Lou he broke 50 pounds this week and he's been having fun. Um, but yeah, both machines. So I, today I was doing a little comparison between the two machines to see how they would do on the trail, moving the logs and stuff. So um, both machines did really good. You know, each one has its own set of strengths and weaknesses. Obviously the Cormiti size is a big advantage um, and it's very nimble and agile but the tractor is a much smoother ride and can lift more. Um, so there really wasn't a clear winner here. They both, you know, I had to take it kind of slow going down the trail because it is still pretty rough with rocks and stuff. But um, both machines did really good. Both grapples did really good. I think the fact that the Wicked grapple is a little bit wider helps with those really long logs, kind of balance them. But all in all, the machines did a great job. Well, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, all in all, really happy that we got the majority of this wood moved. That way it's not quite an eyesore when we pull into the driveway and I'll be able to, <laughs> Sarah's shaking her yeah. head, yes. Yeah. 
It's always something in the driveway. <laughs> more and more toys. Um, and then I'll, you know, be able to gain access, especially for the excavator, who should be coming early next week, and that would be great. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. If you guys like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Questions, comments, or feedback, put it in the comments section below. I'm Jake. I'm Sarah. That's Louie. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.